about in seven years. Probably a little bit more crowded and polluted than five years. What about in ten? Uh, I think in ten years, what? in ten years, things will be starting to look. Like the aesthetic will have changed. Things so it'll be twenty ten. Yeah, things will be different shapes, but I don't think life's going to be too different in ten years. Twenty years, I think things are going to be different in the way we use technology and the way that the way that we communicate with each other is going to be getting going to be changing more dramatically after twenty years. What about five years after that? So twenty-five years. Yeah, I think technology. again. The rate of change is speeding up all the time. The difference between that It's going to be, I have a feeling it's going to be faster and I don't know, I, I, think, I think life's going to be less natural. I think we're going to move, we're going to, we're going to move further and further away from, from the natural world. We're going to be living in you know, more of an abstract way from nature. We're going to be, we're going to be probably eating less and less natural food and eating more and more sort of engineered food that probably sort of will need to save space with growing stuff and you know anything grown will be indoors hydroponics that sort of thing no fields you know it'll all be taken over by too many buildings and things i think cars are going to be fast if we if we're still allowed to drive cars they're going to be fast in 70 years if you think 70 years ago cars were really slow <laughs> in 70 years time they're going to be hauling they're going to be really moving that that's going to be kind of interesting I don't know. I don't what know. About a hundred years. In a hundred years. Do you think the world will be recognisable to people now? Will it be recognisable? That's. A, <laughs> I don't think. I don't think separate cities and separate towns are going to exist anymore. I think it's just going to be a huge metropolis. Well, maybe, maybe, maybe in a hundred years it'll start moving people out to space. You know, maybe we'll. Maybe we'll have managed to colonise some other parts of the solar system by then. And, you know, and some people will be able to move off Earth, whether they whether they want to or not. I don't know. Maybe maybe there'll be like a instead of having rich parts of town and poor parts of town, you'll have like rich planets and poor planets. And it'll be just the really rich people that can afford to still live on Earth. Or maybe the rich people want to get the hell off it because it's just going to be so polluted and fucked up and everything else. I don't know be interesting. I think, uh, yeah, I think a hundred years is, things are going to start happening pretty rapidly. Things are going to happen pretty rapidly. I think if the population keeps on growing that much, 
in a hundred years we're we're gonna have to seriously start using different fuels we can't we can't carry on burning fossil fuels definitely i mean it sh it'll run out by then i don't know maybe maybe you know the electricity will be used a lot more and we'll come up with new ways of generating it yeah i think uh, i mean much more things will be electric and much instead of burning fossil fuels we'll, we'll come up with new ways of generating electricity Totally personal, totally personal, interactive. Entertainment's getting more and more interactive. People are, are wanting to have more control over their entertainment all the time. And it, start, it started out with just having more control over, over like the sound and more control over the picture and more, more different channels to watch or whatever. So uh, I think also it's going to invade it's going to take over the sensors a lot more. It'll be kind of direct plug-in, you know. Instead of just sight and sound, you'll be able to you'll be able to actually plug in emotions and feelings. And It's a cold world. 